Hey, it's Anna. How are you doing this afternoon? Hopefully well. I'm putting a cough drop in my mouth, so excuse me. I don't want to cough. I'm recovering pretty well. I'm still a little sick. I have a jewelry haul here to show you. Um, jewelry that I, a couple of things I got through the mail and that I picked up uh, Tuesday during the day. Um, if you're interested in buying anything, please email me at vintagejewelrygaloreatyahoo.com and we can discuss price. Most of it will be available immediately. Um, a couple of things I have to confirm um, on, but I'll let you know which ones they are. Okay, let me start off with this. I want to see if anybody recognizes this maker's mark. This should be coming up at 12 noon on Wednesday. I filmed it Tuesday evening around 8 p.m. I started filming it. But look, it's two J's, like reverse. Let me make it larger. Like facing reverse. Do you see that? Does anybody know who that is? I, I've seen it before. I can't find the mark. I should be starting my own list, shouldn't I? Can you see that? I feel like. Let me make it a little bit larger. See? I don't know who the maker is, but that looks like a crystal there. It looks like gold plating. Let me hang it up. Let me make it smaller. Okay. Um, it's double strand. It has a a big lobster claw. That this is the on the end. The, the extender is the hang tag with the two J's hang capital J's reverse facing each other reverse. Not really facing reverse of each other. I guess I should say this is a nice chain. I think. It's, a, it's flexible. And there's Lucite. Let me hang it up. It's double strand. You have a tassel. This is Lucite in the center here. There's, that's not glass. And then you have the tassel here. Obviously, the one's longer than the other. Um, that is, there are Ryan's crystals. It looks like crystals going around on the top of the tassel. Let me hang this a little bit better. Give me a minute. <clears throat> yeah. I, towards the end of the night, I've, I've noticed I'm, I'm getting very tired today at this time. But I felt a lot better today, which was great. All right. There it is. You have a tassel. It's a nice big bail on that. Two nice chains. That's uh, loose right there. It's a double strand necklace. I'm going to take it off and show it to you. It's pretty. Okay, now I have some rings here. I have, I've, this is amber, I believe. Now I have to confirm it. I've, um, it glows. All right, look. It's signed Sterling back here, just Sterling. This is vintage, I think, like 60s or 70s. I can't really be sure, but that's, it's, it's nice and sturdy and it is signed Sterling. I believe it's a vintage ring. And it does glow. I don't know if I could show you. Let me try to, though, okay. Again, excuse me, I, I do have a cough drop in my mouth. It's better than me hacking. It glows, you can see the glow. Let me try to make it dark. Hold on a minute. Sorry, give me one minute. There we go. You can see it glowing in there. Um, <laughs> I have to look into this a little bit farther. It's a six and a half. Sterling. So it's a nice chunk of sterling. It's got some a good weight to it. And that's about an inch. And it's a six and a half. Um, yeah, it fits me. It's um, a six and a half on there. It's closed in the back, like I just showed you. It says sterling on there. This is butterscotch, um, amber and sterling. This is right around a five and three quarters, almost on a six. That's about a half of an inch. It has a little bit of an opening in the back. I could get it on, it's a little tight on my finger. It's fitting like a, like what it is actually, a five and three quarter. It's open in the back. It's almost the size. <sighs> so 
sorry. I will find a better way. I'm not completely comfortable with this. Now I have to have this look that um I'm pretty sure this is Jade. I have to make sure it's not a venturine. I have to, it was sold to me as a venturine. I have to make sure I'll take it to the jeweler. It's uh sterling silver. And it's pretty. Look, it's open in the back. Marcosites are all there. And this is a almost a six. It's fitting more comfortable on my finger. This is fitting like a six and a half. Um, because this one does have some room, as you see in there, where the finger can, the meat of the finger can go in. But it's just about a six. It's fitting more like a six and a half, six and a quarter to be safe. But it's sized as a six. It's pretty. Um, this, I believe, is a doublet. It's, a, it's an opal. It might be a triplet. I have to have it looked at. Um, it's pretty, though. It's dainty. It has roses on the side. See, you can see like the, there's a um, piece on the back of it. All right, it's pretty. This is about a six and a half or a six too. Let's see what size it says. Yeah, this one is a, well actually this one is a rated right a six and three quarters. It's a small piece of, it is, it's small. It's pretty though, it's blue, bluish green. And I think it is already in plating on it. I'm not really sure on that. This is signed 925 Sterling on the back, Italy. This is hand painted. She's pretty beautiful. Let me show her what the magnifying glass. It's 24 karat gold plating over this for me. And the chain is gold filled. In the box, she's pretty lovely, I think. It's pretty, and it's set in Italy. That's Limoges, L-I-M-O-G-E-S, if I'm not pronouncing that right, Limoges. Limoges, I forget how you pronounce it, honestly. Okay, um, oh, that's mine. Look, this is mine, this one. Let me put it on the other hand, it's easier to show up, but... This is beautiful. It's sterling. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's not glass material. It's a resin. It's really lovely, I think. It's about an inch and a half. It's beautiful. I'm going to keep that one for a while. I really like it. All right, I found these for Eva. These are her team spirit color, um, you know, for the football team, and she plays at all the band uh, games, and it's blue and yellow. It's a Spartan color. These are sterling plated, or sterling, and I didn't scrape hard enough. I don't know. But I thought they were nice. See how they're, they're blue and, and yellow. She said she'd wear them, so I'm glad they found her those. These are sterling silver and stone. I believe they are ster um turquoise i'm not sure though but it's sterling and it is stone it's not glass they're signed sterling in the back and these are about two and a half inches those move little stone pieces on the bottom i thought those were nice some conch earrings i think right i like these these are <laughs> these look 1980s are not faded they're, they're cool i didn't i didn't see a mark i'll look again but there's something inside these are bigger like an inch across Hoops. They need backings. I have backings. Cool. I thought they were cool. I found him. I have a stick pin, okay? That looks very similar. I expected this to have an MMA on it, like tag, but it doesn't. Just a little Mayan or Aztec man. So cute. He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> and I have to test these for Bakelite. I will. Um, to see if they are. It's a barrel clasp. <laughs> Again, I'm going to hang them up. 
I do have a stick pin, I think, that matches this. I'm going to pull it out. He has a friend now. Somebody to hang out with. There's their marking on the back. I sold one similar to, like, this to somebody. <laughs> like a while ago. Kind of. And it was... I think it's cute. I picked it up. It, it was a great price. Um, this is sterling and crystal and glass. And then you have this beautiful bead down hair. It's plastic of some sort. Look, it's hung. Um, I didn't test these. I think these are all glass or crystal. They're not stone. But that's a glass ring that's hooking this. Uh, this is like a sugary coated piece of candy. That is actually... Um, not glass, it's the only thing it's not. You have rhinestone around, dowels all around. It's a beautiful necklace. Sterling findings on the back. Round dowels all over. Sterling channel set. Not sterling. Round dowels have rhinestones that are channel set. Nice. I thought it was beautiful how it shines. I found some rhinestone necklaces in the store as well. Um, that I was in. Let me show them. Well, this first. I said I'd stop buying these. This one I had to buy. It's very flexible and it's triple strand and it's beautiful. It has the rhinestone ends. AB rhinestones, triple strand, beautiful, flexible, lovely, graduated in size. You have three strands. These ones are marvelous. I'll get them. So I got it because it's a very nice one. I have to, it's not tangled per se, but they need to be positioned differently. But isn't that beautiful? This is a beautiful one. That's why I got it. I have stopped buying it, if you haven't noticed. I didn't check the fine means. I don't think there's sterling. It doesn't matter. It's beautiful. It's flexible. I got it because why not? And this is Miller Fury glass. Multiple colors. Um, you have blue, light blue, dark blue, orange, dark orange, light orange, red balls. Miller Fury glass balls, blue. There's multi colors as well, ones with more and more color like that. It's nice. It needs to stretch. It's a little weak, but I mean, it's still it's it's still there. It's I mean, it, it, what I mean is the bracelets a, a little larger. It probably doesn't need very strong, but they're nice. It's nice little fury glass. These are the necklaces I picked up. These look like Sabika. S a b i k a the company, but they don't have a heart on them. No hang tag, so I don't know who they are, but. I grabbed them because they're beautiful. This one's pink and clear, and they have good movement yeah, to them. These are nice, beautiful rhinestone necklace that's pink and, can you see that? Like a pink and clear. And this one has a bracelet that goes with it. This could be worn from like six to nine inches. I think this is like a 16 to 20, and then a bracelet looks like, I'll measure it before I sew up, but like a six to nine. But these match perfect. I thought they were pretty. Rhinestones and there's a multiple two color two tone blue very pretty and then you have this and it has the opalite uh, rhinestones on it but it matches it close enough to it has the same color of rhinestone there in here but then it also has the different like the a B and the uh opalite and the A B ones as well. They're beautiful though. Sabika jewelry is quite nice. When I worked at the cancer center, I did a fundraiser for one of the nurses that passed away to help her husband. Maury had a necklace. I don't know if she still has it, but I bought one. They were rather expensive. Like sixty bucks for one of these during that time period. Um, but it was the brand is why. Um, this is opalite glass too. You have like the yellowish one. And a white, and then there are the other, like the, uh, like a smoky topaz color, or root bear, whatever you want to call it. And this is like a rose, rosy pink. It's beautiful though. It's a necklace. Again, I have this. This is Sarah Coventry, um, opal glass and rhinestones. There's blue, green, and pink. This is beautiful. It's a brass finish. I know that because I put it on a magnet. And it's sticking slightly. Um, it's beautiful, though. It's vintage. Signed, Sarah Cove. Back here. I'll measure it if somebody asks me for it. Signed, Sarah Cove. And beautiful. I think so. It's a nice Sarah Cove bracelet. All right. I have this. It's some kind of bird. It's cute. I. 
It's the only brooch I got. I have some coming. Green eye and clear um, look like rhinestones. A green rhinestone eye and clear. I think this is a phoenix. I could be wrong. It's some kind of bird. Paradise bird or something. It's that. These are channel set faux pearls in here. These are nice. So. I don't see a name on them. I'm, I'm going to look again. But see, the faux pearls are channels. Like set in between the metal, kind of like channel set. These are Paris, and they're very flexible. They're very nice, actually. I did expect a name to be on them. I'll look again. These are Roman brands, R-O-M-A-N, gold plated and crystals are beautiful. These are a half of a hoop. They're his earrings, or that brand, his, I'm saying, I don't know who made them, um, if it's a man or a woman, but they're really nice. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to cough. I'm starting to feel a little exhausted. It has been a good day, though. Again, silver plated or silver, I'll test them again. These are rhinestones. They have a clear, like that is a burnt, like, bronzy one down here. Blue, and then, like, a smoky one. Oh, there's four. All right, those are Paris lover bags. All right, that's what I have. Um, I have more coming. If you want anything, email me, vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I'll be back on Friday doing another haul. I'm going to go out shopping tomorrow and pray Friday morning. And I have stuff coming through the mail I'm waiting for. So, expect to see another video come up around noon on Friday. That's my schedule, how it's been now. is a sales video every Monday. Every Wednesday and Friday, a haul and pre-sale if anybody wants to pre-buy. And then a sale on Saturday. I'm going to try to stay on three to four hours this Saturday. I anticipate feeling a lot better by then. I woke up today, I felt pretty great. Went out shopping for three hours and came home and took care of some things and went out and eat with Crystal. But anyways, enough of that small talk, right? Everybody have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.